I'm Mrs. Johnson. My name is Andrea and I'm going to be your nurse today. I'm going to be doing a quick health history on you and I want to verify some information if that's okay. So I know your name is Sandra Johnson. You're 84 years old. You are a retired bank teller and you are currently married. Is that correct? Yes, that is, uh, that is correct. Great. So tell me what brings you here to the hospital today. What's going on? <coughs> well, that's the reason I'm here. I've, I've had this terrible cough for almost a month now, and I've tried everything. All of the, you know, NyQuil, DayQuil, Advil, whatever. I've tried it all. Nothing's helping. I can't. <coughs> I'm not seeming to get any better, and I just feel weak and tired all the time. And so that's why I came here today, to see if you can do something to help me with this. Do you have any allergies to medications? And if you do have allergies, what kind of reaction do you have when exposed to those medications? I have a horrible allergy to latex. If I am exposed to latex, I break out in a horrible rash all over my body and it is absolutely miserable. Well, looking at your chart, it looks like you're on several medications. Are you aware of all the medications you're taking and what they're for? Could you tell me what you're taking them for and how often you're taking them? And also, are you taking any vitamins, supplements, or herbal remedies? Yes, I am on several medications. I take Labetalol, and that is for my blood pressure. I take that once a day. I also take aspirin, children's aspirin, the chewable kind. I take that every day. And I think that's for my heart. I think that's for my heart. But I take one of those every day. I did have a stroke and then they put me on that. So I think that's why after my stroke, I've been taking that every single day. I also take a stool softener called Colace. And I also take a milk of magnesia to kind of keep things regular because I do have difficulty with my bowel movements and I need to take those every single day. Can you tell me about your past medical history? Any previous illnesses or hospitalizations or surgeries? My past medical history, I have high blood pressure. I had a stroke in 2008. Before that, I had what they called a mini stroke in 2006. And then I had another mini stroke in 2007, and then the big one in 2008. But before that, I was actually pretty healthy, and I didn't really have to spend any time in the hospital before that. And ever since then, now I'm having all these issues. Surgeries, I've had uh, my tonsils removed. I've had wisdom teeth surgery. I've had six uh, C-sections with my babies. I had a left knee replaced. No, maybe it was my right. No, I had a right knee replacement in 2003 and it's still going good. And then I had a fall and was hospitalized two years ago? Recently. It wasn't that long ago. It, I was hospitalized and um, they thought I broke my hip, but I didn't break my hip, so I was going to get a hip replacement, but then I didn't. So I don't have much of a, a medical history, but I'm pretty healthy. When was the last time you had anything to eat or drink today? I always have a cup of coffee every morning, so I did have a cup of coffee this morning, and I had some oatmeal with some blueberries for breakfast. So I try to eat pretty healthy, and that's the last time I ate anything that was at breakfast, so maybe that was about three hours ago. So you're here for a cough. How long have you had this cough? And how long has it been bothering you? And do you have any other symptoms along with your cough? The event that led up to this is just this cough I've had. I've had it for over a month now, and now it's starting to affect my life. I can't, you know, do anything. I can't play with my grandchildren. I can't, you know, work in my garden. I'm just so tired and weak, and I can't... <coughs> and I can't stop with this cough. I want it to go away. What are your expectations of your care today? 
my expectations are that you can help me get rid of this cough and make me feel better. I just feel so tired and weak and <coughs> and I just, I can't stop with this cough. Um, so I hope that you can do whatever it is you do to make it go away. Are you sexually active? And do you have male or female partners? And if you are sexually active, do you use any sort of barrier method or a contraception? I am sexually active. My husband and I have been married for 49 wonderful years. Um, so just male partners, just my husband. And no, we do not use any sort of contraception. Our baby making days are over. We have uh, six of them and they're wonderful and they're all fully grown and they're really good kids. Do you have a lot of friends and family, people we can contact in case of an emergency? Do you belong to any clubs or groups or maybe even a church? I do. I have a very big family. I have lots of children. I have six children and 14 grandchildren. Going to be 15 soon here in the spring. So I have a very big family and lots of friends and I am a member of the Red Hat Society. Do you have any um, need for pastoral services or religious services? Do you have any rituals that you need to perform while you're here in the hospital? And if so, is there any way we can accommodate those for you? I'm Episcopalian. And yeah, sure, I'll see, you know, if pastor wants to come and stop by, that's fine. I hope I'm not here long enough that I need to see the pastor. <laughs> but if you want to put me on that list, I'm perfectly fine with it. Do you smoke cigarettes or have you ever smoked cigarettes? Do you drink alcohol or use any other substances, illegal substances? I do not drink alcohol, never really cared for it. Um, I've never used any sort of other illegal drugs. I did smoke, I smoked for about 30 years, but I quit 20 years ago, yeah. So I quit about 20, when to about 2000 is when I quit smoking. And I used to smoke seven cigarettes a day. Do you feel that you're pretty healthy or how would you describe your own current state of health? I would consider myself perfectly healthy on a normal basis, but right now not so healthy because of this darn cough. But otherwise, when I don't have this cough, yeah, I think I'm pretty healthy. I think I'm pretty independent. I live a with my husband and I'm able to, you know, do our shopping. Um, I can't drive. The kids don't let me drive. They took away my license like three years ago. But uh, my son is wonderful and he drives to the store for me or he takes me places. Or you know, you could get things delivered nowadays, which is kind of neat. But I think otherwise, I'm pretty healthy. Well, all right. I'm gonna go enter all this information in the computer. If there's anything I can get you, please let me know and put on your call light. I'll be right back. I don't need anything right now. Thank you.